Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. In this session, we will be specifically discussing and exploring about some of the bioinformatics tools which run better in the Linux system. So we will be exploring about these tools and what are their features and how you can utilize these bioinformatics tools. As you all know, big data biology and bioinformatics is a booming and promising sector, especially after the advancement of omics sector and sequencing sector. Those who are in bio IT, biomedical, biotech or biopharma needs to handle a lot of biological samples and data sets for their diverse applications and projects. And for better handling of these big biological data, we need Linux based biological tools and bioinformatics systems. So let's explore this. As we know, bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary area which is dependent on biology, mathematics, computer science, statistics and IIT to handle biological data, especially for data utilization, interpretation, storage, sharing, and also for securing purposes. This bioinformatics requires to handle a lot of software, pipeline, databases to handle these kind of informations and to better utilize this information. Does Linux play a significant role here? Linux is an open source operating system like Microsoft Windows, Apple Mac OS, iOS, and Google Android. Operating system is a software that enables the communication between the computer hardware and the software. Does it convey the input to get processed by the processor and bring output to the hardware to display it? There are various reasons that makes Linux a better operating system and preferable choice in the bioinformatics and bio IT sector. Because this is open source, its source codes are easily accessible. If you talk about the security, Linux is more secure in comparison to other operating systems such as Windows. And in terms of cost also, it is low cost. It also has a fantastic terminal support and driver support. It also has efficient scalability. It also provides compatible application and server support along with flexible UI customization. So, so let's explore a few of the best bioinformatics tools which run better in the Linux platform. So let's start with Z Workbench. G Workbench is a Xenome Workbench, which is a Java based bioinformatics tool. It is an open source platform for integrated genomics analysis. This platform architecture supports various bioinformatics applications like analysis, interpretations, visualization of the sequence data. Apart from that, the loading of the data from local and the remote data sources is feasible here. They support you in the visualization like in the gene expression, in molecular interactions, network studies, also in the protein sequence and structure analysis, regulatory network reconstruction. They also support in the blast search, pattern and motive discovery. They also provide computational analysis tools like t-test, self-organizing map and clustering. Gene integration, annotation of pathways are also possible here. Here you also can collect the data from the curated sources for gene ontology enrichment analysis. The another useful platform is uGene. This is also a free open source and integrated bioinformatics tool. It has a wonderful common user interface which is integrated with wide number of bioinformatics based tools for various different applications. Usein also has numerous biological data format which is compatible with its toolkit and thus the data can be derived from remote sources. Its graphical interference user offers several features such as chromatogram visualizations, multiple sequence alignment, visual interactive genome display they also support 3d view in pdb mmdb format you can perform various editing analysis annotation in eugene the another wonderful platform is BioJava. It is also open source and free to use. The bioinformatics platform for processing different types of biological data using Java tools, which are written in the Java language. And hence, it is compatible on the web browser platforms with Java run environment. BioJava is quite popular among bioinformaticians, computational biologists, and also in the biotech sector because it has multi functionality. It is easy to use and also support customized pipeline. And BioJava has been utilized for various applications in genome analysis also. You may use BioJava for sequence similarity search for multiple sequence alignment, sequence manipulation and addition. You can also perform protein sequence analysis and manipulation. Additionally, you can also perform dynamic programming and you can also do data retrieval for databases for nucleotide and protein sequence analysis. 
The another quite important platform is BioPython, which is developed by the developer and written in the Python program. BioPython is a set of freely available tools for biological computation. BioPython provides various libraries for a wide range of bioinformatics problem solving purpose. As we know, Python is a high level and quite popular programming language due to its easy to learn syntax, its object oriented programming capabilities and because of its wide array of libraries. Hence, BioPython also provides various libraries for a wide range of bioinformatics problem solving needs. BioPython provides various modules for reading and writing the sequence file format, for multiple sequence alignment, and also for dealing with the 3D macromolecule structures. It also provides numerical for statistical support. BioPython contains module for supervised statistical learning such as Bison model and Markov method, as well as unsupervised learning such as clustering. They also provide interaction with common tools such as BLAS, Cluster.blu and Embos. So for further exploring and for further application, you may visit the homepage by using this link where you can get the source code, documentation, mailing list, API documentation and also tutorial for using BioPython. Endermine is also an open source for bioinformatics application purpose which you can use on Linux. It can work as a data warehouse to integrate and analyze the biological data. You can install it on your devices and then make the data available on your web pages. Intermine support different formats such as GFF3, Pasta, Go and Gene Associations files, Uniprot XML, PSI XML and XML. And this software they provide you various search tools such as template based search, keyword based search, query builder and also reason based search. It can also be operated in multi language thus different queries regarding biometric information can be searched in a couple of languages here. The another tool which is quite popular is Bioconductor which is extensively used in Linux platform and is also an open source and free to use. It has significant role in high throughput analysis in the biological and bio IT sector. It mainly uses statistical R programming and hence the software can analyze a range of data for instance oligonucleotide arrays, sequence analysis and also provide robust graphical generation and statistical information and data for your high quality publications. It can also generate real time data regarding the associating microarray and other genomic data along with the biological metadata. Additionally, it can analyze the express genes such as cDNA arrays, rank prod, SAM, digital gene expression and so on. Another platform is Biopol. Biopol is a set of freely available tools which are developed for biological computation that is written in the Perl programming language. It has easy to install modules, simple easy to use syntax and they provide flexible global repository. Biopol is a high level object oriented programming language and this Linux bioinformatics tool is well documented and is freely available for bioinformatics purpose. It has also played significant role in human genome project. Biopol has significant role in nucleotide and protein sequence data analysis and for searching the gene and other structures on the genomic DNA, creating and manipulating sequence alignment, searching for the similar sequences and it could also develop a machine readable sequence annotations. And the another tool which is quite popular and useful is GROMAP. This is a dynamic molecular simulator. It has a significant role in molecular dynamic. GROMAC is quite user friendly and containing topologies and parameter files which is written in the clear text. In GROMAC, most of the programs are operated with a simple interference command line options for your input and output file. Additionally, all the programs are facilitated with the integrated graphical user interference. GROMAC is also a free open source software that provides high performance molecular dynamics and output analysis. I hope you have liked the session and you are going to explore them further. If you have any queries using these tools, you can approach us for your research projects and training purpose. Thank you so much.